We want to bring in Beatrice Luiz Correa to talk more about the situation in Brazil. She's the international editor at Bandeirantes TV. And we've heard from world leaders criticizing what we saw there. But what are people uh, in Brazil saying? What, have, what has been the reaction there? Well, Brazilian people reacted with a lot of outrage uh, in general, of course, because there is a lot of people that still support ex-president Jair Bolsonaro, but mostly uh, even people who voted for Bolsonaro are not, um, uh, does not, they don't, they don't support this kind of action, this kind of violent action from the supporters that don't respect the results of last election. So what we saw yesterday was uh, considered by many people here in Brazil uh, an attack to our democracy because they stormed the, the three powers, right? They stormed the, the National uh, Congress building, they stormed the Supreme Court building, and they stormed also the presidential palace, Palace of the Planalto. So as I understand it, former President Bolsonaro was not even in the country when this happened, but he certainly has been accused of riling up the protesters, stirring them up. Have we heard anything from him? Yes, in fact, he's in the U.S. since the uh, since last uh, uh, weekend. He was not here in Brazil for the inauguration of Lula. It was the first time since the military dictatorship that that happened. We didn't have the former president uh, give, uh, give, giving the, the power to the next president. And Bolsonaro is in Orlando right now, and he tweeted. Uh, he said uh, he does not, uh, he's not in accord uh, with violence in the protest, but he, in fact, he compared the kind of, this kind of uh, protest with the method of le the left. So he said it was kind of more or less the same thing, although never in our history, the National Congress and Supreme Court building and the presidential palace has been invaded before. So, uh, it doesn't have a comparison. Mm. Where, where do things go from here? Because, you know, we have our own experience in this country when you look at the January 6th um, committees. But has there been an investigation? And what makes people feel there that this may not happen again or there might not be some other type of uprising because of the sheer amount of people um, who did support Bolsonaro? Yeah, what Lula, uh, the current president, said when he was inaugurated is that uh, the responsible for this kind of anti-democratic act are going to be held responsible. Yesterday, he was not in Brasilia when everything happened. He was in Sao Paulo, in a, in a countryside, in the countryside of Sao Paulo, in a city named Araraquara. So he quickly came, uh, flew back to Brasilia after uh, everything happened. And mm. he, the justice minister, he said he was going to investigate. And actually, right now, I know in, in the U.S., almost a thousand people were arrested after the capital invasion. Here in Brazil, right now, we had until some hours ago the information of 300 people arrested. But right now, they are, they are dismantling the camp outside the army headquarters in Brasilia. Uh, there's 40 buses taking this process from the army headquarters to the headquarters of the federal police. It's equivalent to the FBI. So we don't know what's going to happen to these people. It's 1,200 people that is currently uh, being um, uh, held by the federal police. We don't know if they are going to be charged with any crime, but some of them, of course, they can be charged in uh, the in the article 359 uh, that is trying to overthrow a legitimate constituted government it's the in the penalty for this kind of crime it's four to 12 years in prison mm. well you know Beatrice here it's been two years and we're mm -hmm. still dealing with investigations and court cases yeah. <laughs> excuse me and all that sort of stuff uh, so we'll see how things unfold there uh, Beatrice uh, Luis Carrera thank you very much